Just a few nights after firing Steve Clifford in 2018, Hornets general manager Mitch Kupchak actually sat down with him for dinner and then assumed the lease on his uptown apartment. In fact, the relationship kept so intact between Clifford, Kupchak, and owner Michael Jordan that when the coaching search hit a bump in the road, it was natural to bring back Cliff. This is an exciting time for this franchise. Clifford would know he was hired by the then Bobcats in 2013. He guided his teams to two playoff appearances in five years, and here's a rarity for a new coaching hire. He enters as the second winningest coach in team history, needing only 12 more wins to take the top spot. He certainly expected to get many more than that this year. Admittedly, this is the most talented roster he's ever had in this town. I think that this is a group that can get better and better. Clifford says he does understand his firing four years ago. After that, he went to Orlando and led the Magic to two playoff appearances in three seasons. The detailed and defensive-minded coach says he's changed a bit and understands that a group led by budding star guard LaMelo Ball will need to continue to play with their fast offensive pace. He's a great talent uh, with a passion for the game and a flair for playing in the open court and we want to take advantage of that. Anybody who's covered Coach Clifford in the past was not surprised to hear him say that he can't wait to sit down, shut the door, and watch film. And that's presumably what he was doing when he ran off stage right, past the celebratory refreshments set up in his honor, and back up to his new or old office. At Spectrum Center, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte.